Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. So, um, what are we doing? That's a good question, isn't it? Well, we're trying to complete some quests for sure. Um, the Slynth is a quest. Um, raising our mutations is a quest. Having 20 clones is a quest. I think we might be doing Bethesda Susa. Feel like maybe that's what we're doing next. Uh, could be. It could be that that's what we're doing. So why don't we... Oh, no. We noticed some ruins. Okay, hold on. Hold your horses. There's some ruins nearby. We could just check out some ruins. I'd be, I'd be honestly totally okay with that. Let's check out some ruins. We could go to the six-day stilt. Um, we need to find... Um, more named locations. Oh, look at all of the null worms. Yeah. <laughs> look at all of the null worms. Well, you know, the thing is, is the null worms are still useful because we may very well be fungled again one day. And it would be a good thing to know where we could find a null worm corpse. So, um, you know, something I would like to do is um, I would like to do some more historic site diving in this playthrough before we uh, kind of call it. We're already kind of late game ready with our absurd DV, or sorry, AV. Um, there's not much going on here. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess there's a campfire right there. We don't have to make a new one. We'll let's whip up a meal. Six move speed for the rest of the day. That's a, that's a pretty good one. Um, we're gonna go to the six day stilt and that is just to basically set a um, set a checkpoint we're also I, I don't know I don't think we have any more res chef floor pretty sure we don't nope um, but we do have some books we can hand in the books May as well. I mean, we're at the st we're at the fa uh, stage where handing in books is pretty viable. Twenty four thousand XP. That's a lot. We leveled up from that, non surprisingly. We're actually pretty much at the same level of progression towards the next um, level as we just were. We should also, I'm going to talk to our jeweler here. We might be able to buy some more trade goods with what we've got. Let's see, let's see. Well, we could certainly trade in this Masterwork Electro Bow. Um, we could trade in two gold nuggets for... Mm, that doesn't make sense, does it? Well, we, we, we literally could. I, I guess I should have come back here. I wish there was a six-day stilt recoiler. I think it literally, uh, th there used to be a six-day stilt recoiler, and I think it got taken out of the game. It seemed too powerful, maybe. Too powerful. It was too not long for this world, you know? We'll sell a lead cell. Um, we'll sell a couple of cells for the sake of a rough sapphire. And uh, we can do a jasper as well. Sounds good. Kind of want to do a little bit of. I kind of want to go to the asphalt mines. We 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 are pretty set up to do some asphalt mines. We do want to make some more um, more friendlies with uh, with goat folk. So that's something we're gonna have to do. Um, and if if we want to make friends with Mamon, Mamon Soul Drinker, just uh, you know, there's a lot of boxes to tick. There's no way we're going to be able to get, like, quotation marks every achievement on this run. But certainly we can do a lot. Like, um, you know, we want to discover a bunch of named locations or, uh, not even, sorry, settlements. Do some quests for them. Um, we could, you know, jump through some, some time portals, space-time portals. Um, we could become friends with Borokoru become enemies to Oborokoro. I still don't know how I fit, uh, feel about that, ethically speaking. Is it right to... If if we do decide to both make friends with and enemies to um, Oborokoro, then 
I might, uh, I might say that it would be the last thing we do. Does that sound okay? I wouldn't mind hearing from peop for, from commenters about this. Because, like, you know, um, the spirit of the series is definitely to get all of the Caves of Cud achievements. But, you know, I don't know if you're meant to get both sides of the same coin in a run. And especially, like, you know, we are going to be breaking a water ritual in order to, to achieve this one. Because, um... You know, we're going to be doing the water ritual with the Borokoro, and then we're going to be killing them. Because that's the other achievement. It just doesn't seem right. So I don't know how I feel about it, but um, I'm interested to, to hear what other people think about it. Ooh, we've got a Gnu. Um, what, what kind of rep do they have? Hated by worms. Hated by the third Meraradarian... Mer Mira, Mira Radian Church. Let's go with Mira, Mira Radian. But they're also hated by the fe Fellowship of the Wardens. I don't want to kill that Gnu, but they might give me no choice. I don't really know if there's much I can much say I have there, but they seem like a, not a not a great fellow Gnu. Ooh, is that another hammer? That we could make use of carbide hammer um i guess we already have a carbide hammer so we wouldn't be upgrading anything uh when we start seeing lava crabs i might start using temporal fugue in order to kill them uh lava crabs taking them on on your own is just not really gonna do it it's it's uh, gonna be a big big hassle but um you know, fighting them with, like, several friends, much, much easier. We have another legendary Gnu here. I'm not sure. Let's check out their reputation. They are hit, admired by the villagers of Shash, disliked by the villagers of Darismas, Darsimas, and then hated by the denizens of Yid Freehold. Well, it's a real shame. Is this a different one? It's the same one. So that's a darn shame. Wish I could uh, help you out there, bud, but I can't be making enemies to eat freehold. Oh, we have a uh, humor. And yeah, we can take out humors pretty okay with our uh, lays. We can be very lazy about it. <laughs> okay, I'm just looking for our. Uh, Oh, I guess our staircase was already there. Why is there a tree down here? That's weird. And our again, our, our staircase is immediately adjacent, basically. Asphalt mines is like, to me, it's like both exciting and very boring. Because on one hand, there are very few surprises. On the other hand, there are surprises, but they are they're few and far between and they're they, they can be very exciting. They can be very uh, you know, compelling like oh my gosh, I get a get a one of these. Very nice. I've I've been looking for a one of these for a very long time. And now I have one. How exciting. Okay, so um, we are at 19 strata deep. We are going to we have another legendary gnu. Good lord, that's a lot of Gnu. Disliked by the Consortium of Fida. And all of these Gnu are like slightly not okay reputations, re reputation wise. Um, so this is like the, I think the last uh, floor before we start seeing lava. Lava can be an issue because it can be like, it can surround um, the staircase leading down. But um, someone has pointed out to me before that um, if I use a, um, I forget what it's called, but I do have one. I do have some, I should say. Fermented Yonder Cane gives us teleportation abilities. 
Um, and we have pretty high mental st uh, abilities, like high ego, so we'll have like a pretty good teleport. So we could potentially cook a meal with the Yonder Cane, teleport um, away, or at least inside and uh, away from the lava. But that only solves the problem for one floor. You know, we're probably, well, there it is. There it is. Um, this is 500 drams of lava. So unfortunately I can't really, you know, can't really do much about that. Um, can't cook with hostiles nearby. There are no hostiles nearby. Do not lie to me. Cannot do that while waiting. Uh, yeah, this floor kind of sucks because it's gonna really like hold us back a bit. So I'm gonna try and cook a meal with Yonder Cane. We got a blaze injector and all of that. I, we could take a blaze injector. The problem with lava isn't necessarily that it kills you, but it does. Um, it's also that it destroys your gear, all of it. Um, so not not a great thing to do, especially when you've you know finally paid off the last payment of your uh, crystal full your full crystal armor gear. Um, all right, so what we want to do, choose ingredients to cook with. We're going to cook with our fermented yarn cane, and I'm not going to do anything else. Like, that's it. Whenever you take a avoidable damage, there's a 20 to 25 for, uh, I don't know, you can use teleport other. Well, this is not, okay. Neither of these are really what we want at all. Well, yeah, that's... That's none of that is really what we want. So I guess we're stuck. Um, I need to buy some more yonder cane if I want to try it again. So that's unfortunate. We could try and cook with uh, what is it? Dawn glider. Do we not have any dawn glider? Did I sell it all? Makes sense if I did. Look at how much dread root tubers we've got. That's a lot. We've got a lot of uh, dread root tubers. I don't. We've got some congealed love. That would actually be helpful for potentially making some friends. All right, we're we're done here. It kind of sucks. Um, not not. It didn't really accomplish much here, but we're we're stuck here mm -hmm. until um, I get some uh, more abilities to teleport. So we could go to Bethesda Susa. I guess that's what we should be doing next. I wouldn't mind trying to make friends with, uh, did this guy want congealed love? Yeah, he did. That's not bad. We can actually potentially make that happen if I got some more love injectors. Heightened skill also is pretty worthwhile. Because I'm pretty sure that just means they give you a bunch of skill points. Um... I don't know. I don't, do I want to do Bethesda Zusa? I kind of don't. I, I guess we're going to do Bethesda Zusa. Let's check out this roasted boar, though. Goat Folk Village. So the hope here, I guess... I, I don't know what the hope is for Goat Folk Villages. I guess the hope is that I um, find a legendary Goat Folk that then uh, leads to some lovely oh god leads to some uh, a lovely goat folk reputation they had a salt hopper mandible that's pretty nice steel arrow eh, we don't need any of that um, so I'm like kind of not okay right now uh, I kind of want to cook with the love Congealed love. Although I guess that we don't have, we're not inspired right now, so it wouldn't really be that useful. We wouldn't be able to save that recipe. Uh, let's temporal fugue. Actually, I should not have done that because if there is a legendary there here, there'll be very little 
way to actually save them from being killed. We are getting some experience from the goat folk, which is nice. We found a steel war hammer. And a nylon body pack. Let's go. Uh, steel utility knife. We'll pick that up and we'll pick up the copper nugget. We are just about at the point where we can start taking on these goat folk villages without mm, too much trouble. That being said, um, goat folk villages do vary. They're not necessarily all easygoing. The one, these ones seem to be pretty easygoing so far. Oh god, uh, it only takes like one seed sower to really make a difference in how uh, frustrating or challenging a situation is. Wouldn't mind getting a, 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 the charge skill at some point. Oh, we're, we're incorrectly ignoring um, these lads. Uh, we should be able to kill them with the, with the lays. There we go. Okay. So we're good here. Notice some ruins. I mean, I'm just kind of like exploring everything as I find it. As I said, I am embracing distraction. Oh, saw hander, huh? We can discharge. Your ro lower right arm is dismembered. That is a very, very low chance of that happening. But it has happened now. Um, I'm pretty sure if I eat this, I get another achievement. We're gonna go, we're gonna recoil. Um, well, let's wait till we're uh, rested. We're gonna explore the rest of the zone and we're going to recoil to uh, eat freehold where we can regrow our arm. Oh, goody. Luckily, Lay's is really, really good for um, s novice of the sightless way, burrowing into your into your brain. Oh, look, another another sawhander. Hello, sawhander. How nice of you to join me. Not. You better not. You you better like not be hand me again. This was a quite a nasty ruin. Honestly. Okay, um, just want to make sure I have all my weapons. So, what, what did I drop when I lost my hand? I guess I dropped my cobalt hammer. Did that go in my melee weapons? It did. Okay, just checking. Just, just gotta make sure. We're gonna go to eat freehold. What a thing to happen. Just like an absolute bummer, you know? You just like doing your thing, minding your own business, and then boom, I have w only three arms. Uh, enter. Okay. All right. You regenerate your lower right arm, you regenerate your lower right hand. Perfect. Nice, really nice. Like, I know they nerfed Grickgate so that it didn't have that ability, but the fact that it got moved to Eat Freehold, totally cool with me. And it seems to be a lot better now than it, than it was. So, um, I was heading to... <laughs> I was going to head to... Wait, what? Oh, I, I need to replace the cell in... In the Kekuka. I was heading to Bethesda Sousa, but I don't know if that's going to happen anymore. The reason being is I kind of want to go to Ezra real quick. Um, we'll put a chem cell in there and activate it. Uh, the reason, like, I, I, I've just been, like, kind of procrastinating about this, but I do want to quickly grab the recoiler for uh, Ezra. There's not really much reason. Like, if I've got a recoiler for Eid Freehold, there doesn't seem to be much reason to go to Ezra. 
Hold on. More goat folk villages. May as well check it out. Oh, God. Please stop. Okay. I don't really want to... Um, Temporal Fugue because there's a there's a chance that it will end up hurting me in the long run If I'm being honest, I don't really know if going to goat folk villages is a good way of making friends with goat folk uh, Goat folk like it. It's the obvious answer to me, but I've never actually tried to make friends with goat folk It might be that the best way to make friends with Momon Soul Drinker isn't making friends with Goat Folk so much as uh, making friends with Momon Soul Drinker. Like, it could be that I just want to use the same business to them. Just hit them with a love injector and then call it a day. You discover a lair. Do you want to check it out? Sure. Legendary Spitting Slug. Yeah, this place is going to suck, isn't it? <clears throat> I am resistant to acid, I believe, but I don't really want to test that theory. Um, we're going to go to Ezra, and you know what I want to do after that is actually I want to check out that named location or historic site in um, the Rainbow Wood. I think that that would be fun. I think we're at a sufficient level where we can take that on. Okay, let's go to Ela, buy ourselves a recoiler so we can... And also, while we're here, we should also um, make use of the, the local cuisine. Loved by the Daughters of Exile. I'm, I'm good for now. Let's buy... Oh my god, why does it have to be 700? That's the only one they're selling as well. Uh, Alright. High Explosive Mark 1 Grenade Scope to Radio Powered. Well, it's like we do have the money to buy a 700 dram recoiler, but why did it have to be 700 drams? Just like, why? Uh, when did I get polyhedral rings? I don't know, but I'm selling them. Alright, this is good enough. Um, could also buy the high explosive grenade. Let's do that. Data disc. Pretty sure I can learn that. Yep. Learning how to make uh, explosive grenades is always good. And, um, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta look at what that artifact is real quick. As a recoiler with a what? I didn't mean to use it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I'm making all kinds of stupid mistakes right now. As a recoiler. Replace cell. Remove cell. Alright, what is what is the small trinket? Tele thermoelectric cell. Um, I wonder what it takes to make one of those. I kind of wish it would tell me what uh, tier of tinkering it is. Night vision goggles. Could be alright. I don't I don't know. All right, let's learn um, uh, some psychometry. Um, we're gonna go to our grenades. I guess I had some high explosive grenades, but we'll learn how to make our other grenades. Um, thermal grenades. I'll try and uh, I will learn how to use my or how to how to build my energy cells as well. That's kind of why I've been even holding on to them. Um, combustion cell as well. Nice. <clears throat> we won't be able to learn how to make the nuclear cell, but I'm pretty sure you can learn the thermoelectric cell. Yes. That's, like, absurdly powerful. Collecting lava is, is just pure money. Um, is there anything else we would like to learn? Mm, we won't learn, be able to learn how to make ourselves oh we want to do our, ourselves or sorry just injectors in general i'm pretty sure they're all tinkering one 
Learning Tinkering 1 is still really powerful. Learning Tinkering 3 is debatably worth it. There are definitely benefits to it, but um, I think that Tinkering 1 is good enough for pretty much every run. We can't learn how to make these, right? No. Would, wouldn't that be nice? We can't, uh, I don't think we can learn how to make small spheres yet. Okay. Well, um, can we learn how to make, oh, we can learn how to make lead slugs. I don't know if that would be great, but I think we're done now. Maybe some of this stuff. Sure, night vision goggles. You never know, why not? Wrist fan, sure. Risk calc, sure. Uh, that's it. Why do we, oh, right, we have our own corpse. Uh, I'm gonna see if uh, maybe like eating a part of ourself is actually an achievement. I'm pretty sure it might be. It's not the kind of thing you wanna like test without knowing, but <laughs> you know. Um, so I guess it makes a lot of sense that that uh, recoiler was so expensive. You lose your way beneath a dense canopy of spores. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I went into what I thought was jungle was actually um, the rainbow wood. Well, that's not good. I'm in the rainbow wood now. This is uh, not something I really wanted to do anytime soon. I was going to play it pretty cautiously and uh, enter that historic site from a, a safe-ish distance. But, uh, you know, this is... Okay, we're, 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 we're good. So there's a, a little bit of dark green there. So that uh, historic site is for sure in there. Oh, we've got some goat folk. Our, our shield is coming in handy. It is actually helping us quite a bit. Okay, so we want to go down. Oh no. We sense a vast mind. Well, okay, so there he is. We do actually kind of want to fight these guys because gaining an ego from one of these lads is uh, an achievement. It's not a there's it's not a very high percentage chance of that happening, but honestly, the fact that there's any chance is is good enough. So we're now okay. So we're in the um, rainbow wood now. We wanted to go to the center of the bottom of the of the parasang below us, and then we wanted to go left. Oh, I need to go away from that zone because it's about to be flooded by slimos so we should be heading towards the parasang that has the historic site in it um and then there we go we found it i got kind of lucky there level 24 and we're inspired nice um as long as we are inspired i wouldn't mind learning how to cook uh, a decent meal um, you know my favorite meal, of course, congealed hulk honey and bone meal. I only have the one bone meal, but this, this, there's a pretty good chance of this working out. Plus two a AV can use intimidate if you already have intimidate, gain a plus two bonus. Not bad. Whenever you take damage, the 12 to 15% chance you gain plus six AV for 50 turns. That's actually really nice. Uh, whenever you suffer times two or greater physical penetration... You have a 50% chance to dismember or slam your opponent. Uh, it's not bad, but I mean, in that circumstance, later on, you, you kind of just die if that happens. Um, 12 to 15% chance. That's not bad at all. Plus 6 AV, 12 to 15% of the time, and then, and then for 50 turns, that's like basically a whole combat. So like... For instance, uh, when fighting, like, cherubs, that would be really nice. I don't know. I, I'm tempted to just gain a plus two bonus on the ego roll when using Intimidate. 
let's do this. It's not as fun, but we get the plus two AV that I like, and extra intimidate is actually not a bad idea. So we've got two slumberlings here. Slumberlings are no longer really a problem. We can tur we can very much like perma stun them. Oh, we've we've someone has gone ahead and made this primordial soup of brackish. It's not not a great thing. I don't really like the situation. Uh, make no mistake, uh, historic site in. Are we bleeding? Oh, we're we're poisoned. Oops. Um, a historic site in the Rainbow Wood is nothing to scoff at. It's it's no joke at all. Ugh. And this one's got slumberlings. So that's kind of rough. And the uh, ick slugs. Ick slugs are, are kind of tough too. So I am not a big fan of this zone. I kind of want to get out of here, like immediately get into the name, the historic site before I get besieged by um, slimes, which is currently happening. This place is going to be actually rougher than Bethesda Sousa. I, I should have just gone to Bethesda Sousa instead of trying this on. I'm going to, I'm going to herberry. We have tons of herberries. No, no sense in being stingy. And uh, actually, I'm going to fly. Whoops, wrong button. Okay. Um, I think we want to equip a missile weapon. Actually, let's... Let's uh, temporal fugue. I don't know why I didn't do it till now. While my clones deal with the situation, um, I'd like to just find the staircase leading down. There it is. We are about to get... Like... Okay, I think it's herbary time. More herbaries. Um, these guys are going to poison us, and that's not good. But we managed to get a really good discharge off. And I'm just going to head in. There's seriously, like, as soon as we, you know, the sooner we can get in, the better. Yes, we're still fighting ick slugs. I'd rather fight ick slugs than more slimes. And I'm pretty sure there won't be any primordial soup down here. So this is, uh, this is good. Drink too much and vomits. Oh, no. Pretty sure that means there are sl uh, sludges down here. I'm like carefully watching my, uh, look at all the slumberlings. Gee whiz. These guys are going to be 525 XP each. I don't think there's like any chance we can take major damage from them because we we're in a state where we can, um, you know, just slam them to death, basically. Perma stun them. Okay, we need to we need to rest. We are. See a slimy ick slug. Yeah, all right. We can take care of that. I think we're in a pretty good position here to just kind of kill stuff as we see them. The ick slugs are actually 200 XP each, which is nothing to sneeze at, especially col uh, collectively. We only have 32 drams left. Eh, that's not not as much as you'd like. That's not as not a healthy amount, but we we can always recoil out if things get kind of dire. Okay, yeah, see, you don't you don't want to find yourself surrounded by ick slugs. We are poisoned. Um, it might be a good idea to take uh, the resistance stat. Endurance. Poison tolerance. Could be a good idea. I don't really want to have to deal with uh, that poison damage. 
pretty sure we will still take a bunch of damage from our current poison. As long as we don't, like, take a lot of hits from poison, it's not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> and, like, ooh. Um, we, we solo, like, one-shot them. So it's, you know, we don't, we don't have much excuse to be hitting or getting poisoned by ick slugs. These guys are going to be a pain in the butt because they hit pretty hard and they also have a very high AV. When you have an axe, uh, not a big deal because eventually you can cleave them. Pretty sure discharge might go through their AV. Yes. I'm a little bit worried about getting surrounded. I'll back up if I see that they're starting to... Um, like, get around behind me. Uh, let's go ahead and discharge them again. Wow. Yeah, see these, uh, these snail mothers, they are, they're, they're really tough. I remember the first time I got to Bethesda Sousa and, like, got pretty far in it. It was snail mothers that ultimately were, were my downfall. Snail mothers are no joke. All right, There's a, that was a lot, but it was also a lot of XP. One of the reasons I wanted to come here is because I figured um, it was either gonna be really nasty, in which case we can back out if need be. I did not not mean to hit that slumberling, by the way. Or it was gonna be very manageable and it would be really, really good progress and, and basically a shortcut, shortcut to the late game. And that is, Definitely proving to be the case. Level 25. Your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points? No. Um, and we're going to throw that on multiple arms. You have rapidly advanced multiple arms by three ranks to rank 11. And we are inspired. Like... We get to a point with multiple arms where we're kind of guaranteed to, like, what are we at now? Per, chance per turn. 40% chance. So that means there's a 40% chance that we're going to hit possibly two more times per turn. I say two per time, two, two times because we only have, well, actually, I don't know what happened to our folded carbide hammer. Oh, there it is. Oops. Here. Uh, okay, right. I forgot to re-equip that when I, I, I regrew my arm, which is a very Caves of Cud sentence. Um, <clears throat> we have a chance per forty percent chance per turn to hit an extra time, and I'm pretty sure it's forty percent chance per arm. So, um, what that really means is that you know we we've got a pretty good chance to hit hit extra times per turn. And every time we hit, we have a chance to daze. Double Muscled gives us a 30% chance to daze your opponent on a successful melee attack. And then on top of that, uh, when it comes to uh, Cudgel, we have a 50% chance to daze your opponent. And if you daze a dazed opponent, they're stunned. Meaning that we have a passive chance of basically, like, not a great chance, but a pretty good chance of dazing automatically every single turn. And if we daze a dazed opponent, we have a chance of stunning them. If they're stunned, I'm pretty sure continuing to daze them just prolongs the stunning effect. I might be wrong about that one, but in any case, it, like, they're, I think they're still dazed if they come off their stun. So, like... At a certain point, we just have a ridiculous perma stun ability. We definitely want to pick up this nano weave vest because that's going to be worth good money. Dithor thermo beam, excuse me. This is going to be a rifle, isn't it? It's a pistol. Yo, it's a pistol. A coolant pipe and an antifreeze pipe are barrel locked in symmetric geometry. Thumb flips rotate the mechanism and reverse their orientation. 
definitely, definitely is going to be worth it. Maybe in the in the late game. Oh, by the way, I didn't uh, I didn't mention this, but I've installed a new mod. Um, I believe it's called the Rabbit in the Basket mod, and it adds little extra tiles so that if, uh, if something is looted or empty, then it has a separate look to them. Very small touch, but I think a really nice one because it's it basically lets you know um, if something is worth uh, you know pursuing. We're gonna discharge. And then we're going to be here forever. Alright. There's something over here. Is that Reshef? I see. It is Reshef. And it is new Reshef lore. Excellent. Look at all the slumberlings. This could not be a better historic site, honestly. Slumberlings... You know, they're they're intimidating, but once you're in a position where you know you can take them out for sure, then, oof, you know, that's just like money in the bank. That's XP in your noggin. Or wherever you, th where, wherever you think that the experience lives. Experience is stored in the... Yeah, you can finish that sentence. You know what I'm saying. Uh... Also, this episode is running rather long. Wait, are we friends? For some reason, we are friends. Uh, now we're not friends. I guess um, I'm okay with mollusks. I, I there's no way I'm good with mollusks. We are running rather long right now, <clears throat> but uh, I kind of want to just like get to the bottom uh, of this historic site. We are discovering, we are discovering a way to conceal ourselves by constantly being confused. We got some more um, knowledge. I definitely don't regret taking that resistance to poison. We are inspired again. I should uh, I should be learning a new recipe. Let's do that real quick because there there is an achievement to that. Um, choose ingredients. Why don't we try the concealed uh, congealed love? Because I do want to learn how to do beguiling. And um, oh, look, why not? Uh, well, okay. There's a good reason I shouldn't cook with my right arm. Um, pretty sure there is an achievement for cooking with lava. So let's cook with lava. I don't think this will kill me. Plus four ego. Excuse me. And plus 10 to 15 percent or plus 10 to 15 heat resist. Wow. Wow. Plus four ego. That's that must be the love injector at work. But that is that is nothing to sneeze at. That's amazing. So, I don't know where that puts us with, like, temporal fugue and all that stuff. Speaking of which, I could, like, temporal fugue just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, what? Okay, just, just making sure we're not enemies to ourselves. Alright. Let's go ahead and rest. Worth exploring every floor for sure. There, wow. That's like the most ominous thing I've ever seen in Caves of Kud. It's just the, the luminous... Um, like kind of legendary chest at the end of a hall and it's a, it was like a really long visible sight on that that was really that was kind of eerie so we're fighting bark biters bark biters are technic oh we oh no we killed a legendary reputation with apes has increased that's good might give us a, a fighting chance with um, Ouroboroku a Borokoru. Uh, bark biters are technically worse than 
slumberlings, but only because they can actually do something about you. Ooh, bliss of glass. Plus one agility, reflect 5% damage back at your attackers rounded up. Interesting. Um, they're actually on par with their crystal gauntlets. We could like downgrade our flawless crystal gauntlets and like sell those and then kind of roll with these bliss of glass gauntlets. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. We get we downgrade one AV. Actually, it, it's uh, that isn't a great idea. There is a good reason why we should have the flawless cri cri uh, crystal because apparently that was enough to get us up to a 17 D AV. Um, so apparently this is going to continue to go down. This might be one of those historic sites where uh, there's multiple items here. But I think I'm going to leave it there because uh, the episode's running rather long. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time as we complete this uh, historic site of Mirera. Mira, Mira Regret. Mira Regret. Take it easy.